Hey YouTube, welcome to Sin City Pools. All right, guys, we're back with another video. Uh, in this video, we are gonna do the checklist review of 2024 Tops Chrome Black. Uh, so, Tops Chrome Black is another release that is a pretty much a staple in the in the baseball uh, card world. Uh, it's been out for quite a uh, quite a many years, um, and it's always a very very nice set design so you can see here this is kind of the uh, the promo uh, for 2024 tops pro and black uh, you can see the uh, the kind of the card design this year uh, pretty cool looking so you obviously see the LED la cruise with the uh, the kind of the red you know uh, design in the background and then um, Yamamoto is on the other side with kind of like a it almost looks like that Genesis look um, that you see in Panini products, uh, but it is the blue lava uh, on that one, where the uh, the LE is obviously the red refractor. They're not all going to be color matched. This is just some of the uh, the parallel colors. So, as far as Tops Chrome Black goes, um, it is a design that typically is a later release, so they're actually changing it up this year. Um, it's going through. It's obviously releasing. Uh, in a few weeks, let me uh, let me double check the, the date. Uh, April seventeenth, so next week, uh, according to you know, according to this, obviously things can change, but right now it's supposed to be releasing next week. the The last few, few years, it's been the kind of the end of year product. So uh, you can see here the uh, the twenty twenty three set came out in December. So just a few months ago, we saw twenty twenty three tops chrome black. So they are releasing it early this year. It's actually now going to be the first Chrome product of the year. So this is going to be our first chance to get uh, any type of uh, Topps Chrome for any of the new guys. The Ellie Dela Cruz's, Jason Dominguez, Evan Carter, uh, guys like that. So the nice thing about this set is it is only 100 cards with those cards being vets and rookies, right? So uh, that's the nice thing about this product. Uh, most of the vets are going to be all-star caliber or better players and then obviously your rookies you are going to have lower end rookies but you also have a lot of the top guys so the the probably the biggest downside uh, and why people do kind of stay away from this uh is the fact that you only get four cards in a box so you know they they the price is normally around 175 to 200 dollars, depending on uh, the year. But you know, to pay that kind of mu that that much for only four cards can be tough for a little bit of people. Um, you know, that's a little bit on the higher end as far as autos. You only get one auto per box. Uh, I always normally try to stick around 100 dollars in the auto for a product. This is obviously closer to 175 200, right? The price of the box if you get one auto. Uh, but you can get some really, really nice cards uh, out of this product as well. Uh, as far as the uh, the parallels that come in it, um, you're going to have your standard refractors, uh, purple mini diamonds, greens, like green refractors, green waves, blues, golds, uh, your oranges out of 25, rose gold, magenta, and then obviously red refractors and, and super refractors. Um, it is a 12 box case uh, for anybody that's wondering. Uh, it is kind of the standard 12 boxes per case. Uh, you are going to, uh, they are, excuse me, they do have uh, rookie variations. And so that is a case hit. So you're looking at one per case. And you can get reds and super fractors uh, out of those variations. So they're going to be tough out of five and out of one. It's going to be extremely hard. Next uh, is the insert. This one I really, really like. I, I'm looking forward to seeing this. This is a very, very nice looking insert. It's called the Depth of Darkness. Uh, you can see it obviously here with Ronald Acuna. Pretty cool looking design. I hope it looks as good uh, in hand as it does on this picture. But they are extremely uh, hard. It says one out of 60 packs, so every fifth case. That's a, that's a pretty hard pull. Same thing with this too. You can get red and super fractor out of these as well. So those uh, reds are obviously going to be probably pretty expensive if you have the right player. So 
And then autographs. Obviously, this is kind of the the big chase out of this product. You know, like most, everybody's you know looking for good autos. Uh, it is nice that you're guaranteed an auto, and you can get parallels out of the autos, just like with everything else. You can see here, pretty much all, almost all the uh, the parallels of the base card you can get in the autos, uh, but it is trimmed down a little bit. So, and then you can also get super super futures autos. You can see here with the Jason Dominguez. Um, all of those are ninety nine or less with uh, with gold refract gold refractors, red refractors, and super refractors. That you can pull in them as well and then there's ivory autographs those are all numbered to 25 5 or 1 and then you have a brand new autograph a dual auto in this product called pitch black pairings so we've never seen that one before um sounds pretty cool i'm curious what that's going to look like but you can get a gold out of 20 a red trim out of five and obviously the super in that as well so um, the other cool thing is all the autos are encased so you don't have to worry you know about damage you know obviously you got always have to worry about quality control uh that's always the thing with every product uh, but at least it's in case so it should be uh, pretty protected so you can see this is obviously uh kind of what the base rookie card is going to look like um, actually, this is like this is the variation. So yeah, base rookie design variation. You see how it has the kind of the rookie card logo in the background. Um, and it's obviously showcasing the super fracture of Evan Carter. But all right, that is it for Tops Chrome Black 2024. Uh, again, it's always a, a, a very nice product. Black uh, Tops Chrome Black makes some beautiful looking cards. I typically don't buy it because again, four cards, you know, the, there's a lot more, um, chances to miss on a box. Right. So, but I do like it. I normally buy singles of the guys I like stuff like that, but, uh, let me know, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like top Chrome black? Do you guys normally buy some or do you kind of stay away as well? Um, but that's going to do it guys. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Please hit like and subscribe to see more comment, more see more content, and thanks for coming out.